Thank you very much. It was uh, very conducive and uh, the objective of that meeting was to kickstart uh, the resuscitation of the draft constitution. Uh, you know, if you may recall, uh, it uh, ended when it died upon the arrival at the National Assembly. Mm -hmm. And that uh, government under the leadership of His Excellency President Adam Abaro uh, is committed to uh, bringing in again the constitutions and uh, this process is to officially kickstart the, uh, the process and that uh, the reason why it could not pass uh, is as a result of uh, lack of consensus okay. and that as a president and as a government uh, he deemed it necessary to uh, kickstart it and engage and all political party leaders and representatives were at hand on that day to uh, discuss and so that uh, we will go back to our various political parties and institutions await uh, uh, the uh, final uh, uh, and the commencement of uh, the discussions. There are a lot of uh, issues, but as on our part as a party, the National People's Party, uh, the president believed that uh, it's very important for us to usher in a new constitution. And therefore, as political party leaders, be it parliament, be it our uh, electorate, and also other institutions, of course, religious leaders, both the Gambia Christian Council and the Super Islamic Council, as well as the civil society, we must all come together, look at uh, the, the, the draft. Because now it's owned uh, by it is owned by the executive arm of government. Uh, they to look at it, uh, probably sanitize it, and engage Gambian across uh, all political divides, mm -hmm. uh, religious and all gender, so that we come to a consensus and table it before the National Assembly. You know the the threshold for it to pass at the National Assembly is high, mm -hmm. as well as that of the electorate because. Uh, a total number of 50% uh, of the electorate must vote, and when they vote, 75% must say yes. Right. So it's high, all right. and so we, therefore we, it needs the involvement and collaboration of all and sundry. We know it's a process, and uh, building consensus is very important. And of the, one of the main reasons why the convergence was held is to build consensus. What progress was made to this effect? Yeah, yeah, you know. When, when we started earlier on, under the leadership of former Nigerian president, good luck Jonathan, you may recall we also traveled to Abuja following to intense uh, negotiation in Banjul here, and we made some significant progress. And the objective this time around is to uh, uh, bank uh, uh, and set aside the consensus that we have made on certain provisions mm -hmm. so that we will not go back uh, to, uh, to the whole process again and then move on to areas that were very contentious and then people have never agreed on to anything to, to kickstart those discussions and in the coming weeks or months mm -hmm. uh, that process will start. But as a government, uh, under the leadership of His Excellency President Adam Obaro, mm -hmm. uh, through the Minister of Justice and you know the Attorney General informed Parliament mm -hmm. that plan are uh, afoot to uh, resuscitate it and to bring it back to, uh, to life. 